today I'm going to show you how to use the rows and columns functionality in Thunkable. It's not very intuitive or easy to use in the beginning, but hopefully after this video, um, you'll know how to use it better. So whenever I drag a row onto my screen, what I'm actually telling it is that I want things inside of the row to be side by side or in the same row. I can adjust the spacing by clicking space around. That means you want a little space around each of the components inside. Then you want space between them. It's all to the right. Click start is all to the left, or you want them all in the middle. Okay. And I can adjust the size of my row by I like to use fit content. So the row is only contained inside of here, not the whole screen. Okay. On the other end, on the other side, if you want to use a column, what you're actually telling it is that you want everything inside this column to be stacked on top of each other. Yeah. Kind of like the same things you use here, maybe you only use fit content. Other things you can do is you want space between each of the items inside of here. You want space between them. You want them all to be in the middle. You want a flex start all on top, a flex end all on the bottom. Great. So, but what if I want there to be two columns inside of a row? This is how it'll look like. I'll first drag a row, and then I'm going to drag two columns inside of my row. See, that gives you this arrangement. And then anything I add inside will be displayed side by side with this. Okay. Okay, that's it. Hope that clears it up. Thanks.